Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudy and thank you so much for being here. We are actually in my husband's office right now, which is where I tend to keep all of my PR either before I've opened it or where I break down all of my boxes. And if you haven't catched, caught, cooked my last couple videos, I've been in France with Reed. I just got back yesterday night and we were there for 10 days. And this is the pile, I mean, you can't even see all of it of PR that I've accumulated since I was gone. I didn't buy a single one of these things. Trust me when I say I understand this is excessive. I know. And I will say a lot of the time with PR, I might accept one thing from a company and then they have my address on file and consider that like that they are able to send me all of their new launches or anything they want. A lot of times my address gets sent out to other brands from one brand. I've had many, many instances where I've gotten a product from a brand I've never even heard of and I'll message them and say like, hey, how did you get my address? And they're like, uh, 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 uh. like it's usually from an agency. So just know I understand this is excessive, but a lot of it, honestly, I did not even know was coming or ask for. So it's a, it's a slippery slope, but in the spirit of there being a lot of new launches recently, I thought it could be kind of fun to open everything together. Also it's 326 in Nashville and like 1030 PM in France, so I really need to push through the next hour or two so that I'm not completely exhausted and fall asleep. So, as I mentioned, my name is Rudy. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. We talk about skincare, makeup, hauls. Um, we do vlogs, although I haven't vlogged in a long time. <laughs> I need to. Um, basically, we do old YouTube with new makeup, and I would love to have you subscribe. We're just gonna start right at the top and work our way down. A lot of the times I have literally no idea what what the product is inside or even what the brand is that is sending me something because they send it from their shipping partners so it's usually it's kind of like christmas basically where you don't know what you get until you open it sometimes it's exciting and sometimes it's not and this is an exciting one um i will say this is strange because i do this is from ysl and I do get products from YSL, but they're changing up their, um, like the way that they send out PR, I think. And so they just sent a round of the Candy Glaze lip shines, but they just sent another one. And this is the Candy Glaze in the shade Chili Delight. I have no makeup on right now because I just went and got a pedicure and I'm just like trying to relax for a bit. But I have like five or six of these. They are so, so good. And this one looks right up my alley again this is in the shade chili delight i actually like this formula more than i like their uh rouge volume shine lipsticks which i like those but something about the candy glaze formula is really special it feels a little bit more nourishing than the rouge shine formula and this color is stunning it's like this sort of brick red again chili shade i think that's like the perfect name for it oh and they smell so good so that's exciting love that um thank you ysl but also you didn't need to send an entire box for one product <laughs> i basically have to pay reed because he breaks down all of my boxes he's like my he's like an employee at this point okay this one is from tower 28 i can't really show you the boxes because i don't want my address to be leaked but i will show you everything inside don't you worry this is what i think is yes the new tower 28 sos moisturizer it came with this little thing that says hi rudy hope your sensitive skin loves the sos cream love to you and the berry patch that's you that's you um no fancy actives no breakthrough pit patented technologies just a good simple cream that works don't worry it's down there <laughs> it just fell out but it says that it is intentionally basic because basic isn't bad. So basically, this is just a very simple moisturizer that includes hypochlorous acid, which is meant to help restore the skin, especially if you're dealing with irritation. Um, does this one actually have hypochlorous acid in it? I don't even know if it does. It might not. This is just supposed to be a very simple hydrating skin restoring moisturizer obviously i'm gonna try it i'm really excited i'm sure this is gonna be amazing i love everything from tower 28 and um i love to see brands starting to break out into other areas like skincare brands making makeup and vice versa let's see oh it feels very nice it's got a nice thick texture to it no scent and of course as all of um tower 28's products are this i think yeah is approved by the national eczema association which is really unique and something that a lot of brands do not do so that is awesome i'm gonna have to go a lot faster than this because um that's only two things 
Okay, next up, let's see. This is from Tarte. Hmm, I don't know. Tarte launches something new literally every five minutes, so it's hard to say what this might be. It's probably some maracuja li lipstick or something like that. I guarantee it's something from Maracuja though. Ah, it is their new silk sticks, which is their new bronzer sticks, which is kind of duping Miss Selena Gomez's Rare Beauties sticks. So these are their silk sticks. It says it's a lazy girl summer essential. And from what I can see in the photo, first of all, they photoshopped these little things on these girls' hands. They have blushes as well. This came with a pair of sunnies, which are actually really cute. They're a little big for me. They're actually cute. And it came with a claw clip, another cute thing, and the brush with the silk sticks. And oh, it does have a, a blush shade. They, uh oh, these melted a little bit. This is the bronzer in the shade After Dark. And this is the blush in the shade Pink. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think the bronzer is supposed to be duping. Oh, that's really nice. Um, Rare Beauty, but the blush kind of reminds me of summer fridays these are creamy as heck i'm not gonna lie to your ass these feel really nice this is the bronzer and there's the blush in the sorry the lighting's not doing us so well but those feel very nice like lightweight but still blendable i mean tarte has a way of making good products but i'm very curious about that we're gonna have to play around with that because i don't hate that even though obviously they're not being super creative i still think that that looks pretty good and that's from the man eater line it's not from the maracuja line okay next up bare minerals bare minerals i really hope this is their blonzer extension line I haven't gotten anything from them in a long time. Oh, interesting. This is their Skin Longevity Phyto, Phyto Vitamin C Brightening Moisturizer. Mm. It even says for Rudy on the packaging. That's cute. Look, for Rudy. It came with a little card too. Hi, Rudy. This is handwritten, you guys. Mineral SPF 30, a luxurious hybrid formula that hydrates, brightens, and improves skin texture. And yes, all at the same time. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'm interested. I am interested. Let's see. Sounds good. Cruelty free, vegan, synthetic, fragrance free, titanium dioxide and zinc oxide based. So keep that in mind for your white cast. Okay, it's got like a slight tint to it, but nothing crazy. It looks like a typical moisturizer sunscreen. It feels nice. It's a very light scent. I can't really figure out what that is. But this is interesting to me. I might, I might have to try that out. I don't love vitamin C in general. I just feel like it doesn't work super well for me and like my irritated skin. I, there are very few that I truly enjoy. So we shall see, but I don't hate that. So far, everything that I've pulled out, I've been excited about. So I'm feeling good about that. Let's see what's next. This is from, I have no idea. I have no idea. Fenty. What the heck? Ooh, it's some body stuff from Fenty. Hey, boo. As we enter summer, vacay skin is just a finger tap away. Check out our Freestyle Creamy Bronzer and Sunstalker Instant Warm Bronzer. We also included the secret sauce for when it's time to show a little skin. Body Sauce Luminizing Tint is a lightweight gel cream that will leave you with a sun-kissed radiance. This is the Body Sauce. This is a luminous tint for the body. I never wear body stuff because I uh, hate the feel of something on my body but this could be good for photos. Let's see. This kind of feels like a, I don't know, like a foundation. I have it on my arm right there. It's in a shade. This is in the shade Pearl Swirl. Huh, interesting. I have a photo shoot coming up for the Berry Freckled Pen and I'm not against trying that on my body. We shall see. And then as well, they sent the Sun Stalker Bronzer and the Cream Bronzer. So powder and cream bronzer. Very cool. See what I mean? Like sometimes it's not always a new launch. Sometimes it's just like, oh, we want to send this because it's like a summertime product and we want this sort of like activation for that. Okay, next up. I don't know. I see the word Allure. So this might be the Allure Beauty Box because they recently reached out to ask me for my address, which I think the Allure Beauty Box is something you can buy as a subscription box, but they just offered to send it to me. So I said yes, because I was curious. I used to do FabFitFun reviews way back in the day and I stopped because they were awful. <laughs> so maybe this one will be worth it. Oh yeah, this looks good. Hi Rudy, we're so excited for you to try the latest Allure Beauty Box. Every month Allure editors comb through the beauty world and vet new products. Ah, use code Rudy50 for 50% off your first box. So if you're interested or you like what I'm about to show you, 
Cool. This looks good. So there is the Necessaire sunscreen, the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. Those are full size. I've never heard of this brand. Acaderma, Acad Acaderma, and this is a Barrier Booster Serum. I can't, I don't really have time to go through every single little thing. A Youth Repair Cream, a mini of the Creamy Jelly Cleanser from Bioma, which is great for travel. Um, a hair treatment for after the sun. That's interesting. And a Pound Cake Lip in the shade Red Velvet. I wish I had this when I went to France. This red is perfect. It smells like cake too. Interesting, okay. I don't hate that. I will keep you updated on the Allure Beauty Box and what that means for us as we carry on. These are the worst when they come in a bag and then there's like a box inside. This is from Huda Beauty. Let's see what we got from Huda. Oh, this is from Wishful. This is the AHA and BHA Facial Enzyme Scrub. I'm not a Wishful gal. I don't really love their stuff. This comes with a big and a mini of their enzyme scrub. Mm. I'll probably end up giving that to someone I know. It also came with a little facial pad. Um, yeah, I just, I would rather give that to someone who's actually gonna use it or donate it instead of just like keeping it for it to clutter up my house. This is from, I have no idea, Super Goop. This is Super Goop and The Summer I Turned Pretty, which is a, I think it's a show. I haven't watched it, but it's their summer glow up set and it includes the glow oil and the glow screen. They do a lot of collaborations, I will say, and they're always super cute. Like, look at this. This is the glow oil and they like changed the packaging for it. Like they just did one with um, Pretty Little Thing and it was pink and it was gorgeous. So I think that's really cute. It also came with a butterfly hair clip and it's like an actual butterfly. So that is cute. I feel like Super Goop, they do well at picking out like brands and things to work with. I'm just waiting until they collab with Barbie. Imagine how cute that would be. Okay, I can tell this is from Pixie because they always send it with Pixie on the outside, which I can appreciate. I'm like, okay, I'd like to know who you are vibes. Skin treats. This is their vitamin C capsule care serum skin treats. Not super interested. We'll probably donate. Next. Next. Max. This is from uh, the brand Basal or Basil, Basal. I'm not really sure exactly what how to say it, but it's basically kind of like Yes Style. Like they host a lot of Korean makeup brands and skincare brands on their website. So they send me like updated new makeup and skincare from Korean brands, which I find to be amazing. I will say this box feels a little like damp. So that's maybe not the best sign that something probably spilled. And they send me like a little thing of everything that is in the box. So this is from the brand Mary and May and they show you what's in it, which is so cool. So let's look. There is a sun stick, SPF 50. That sounds good. There is a youth and glowing collagen peptide daily sheet mask in like a box, which is kind of cool. And there is a calendula peptide sleeping mask, a tote bag for all of it, and a multi-peptide fragrance-free serum. So it's just like a fun way for me to explore and find new brands that I have never heard of and I'm probably interested in because the Korean skincare game is far above anything that we do in the US. So it's fun to get that from them and to learn more about what's happening on the other side of the world. Next, this is from Milk Makeup. This might be for a project we're working on together. Um, not like that, just it's an ad for the Hydro Grip line. It might be that, so let's look. Cause I don't know if they've launched anything new new. Yeah, this is the Hydro Grip duo of the setting spray and the primer. So look out for that because I'm doing an ad with them on that, on one of my pages. Oh my gosh, I think this is an exciting one. <gasps> yes, this is my Bubel package. I asked um, the team at Bubel to send me a few products that I didn't have yet or that like, I've tried pretty much everything from Bubel, but they have a few colorways that I hadn't tried of some of their products that I really wanted to try. And one of them is the new lip from uh, Monday Born, which is Tenny's brand. Oh my gosh, look how cool this is. First of all, the packaging, the lip uh, product to lip balm is called Meridian, and it is like a coffee, like cafe colored lip. It's so cute. 
I think their marketing is just out of this world. And look, it's um like a like a birth chart sign. I'm a Cancer. Let's see what it says. As the moon is Cancer's ruler, your maternal instincts are strong. Whoa, my maternal instincts are strong. Beyond the tough shell, you are loyal to a fault. Incredibly true. Incredibly true. This is some of the stuff that they sent over. One is the oh, they sent me two meridiums. So maybe we'll have to do a giveaway. They sent me the lip oil from the Ellie collaboration in Rose Petal, and then also the Shade Cherry Blossom from the BBX Elsa Cushion Lip Balms, cause or Cheek Balms, cause I haven't tried that color. I'm so excited for this. Let's just put on Meridium right now because my lips are feeling dry. Look how cute that is. Ugh, I love this packaging. If you guys don't know, I'm obsessed with Monday Born. I love all their products, but especially love their Source Essence. And I've been so excited about this. Ooh, look at this color. That is pretty. That's like a nice literal latte brown nude shade. That's super pretty. No smell. Mm, feels really good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm very much into that. I'm very much into that. I'm excited to wear that more. This is from Necessaire. I wonder what it is. I think they reached out and I said I wanted to try something from them. What did I say? Oh, the scalp serum. I've heard really good things about their scalp serum. Hey girls, hey girls, the girls are here. I heard really good things about their scalp serum and how it helps with hair growth. I'm not trying to grow my hair right now, but I'm always interested in having really nice, thick, voluminous hair. So I definitely want to try that. We're dwindling, we're dwindling. I have no idea who this is from. Oh, this is the new Pore Purity Pore Cleansing Clay from Hero Cosmetics. This is a clay mask. It includes glacial sea clay, volcanic clay, spirulina, and sea kelp bioferment. I have tried this and I really did like it. If you're looking for a new clay style mask, this one would totally be worth picking up and I love Hero Cosmetics. Oh, this is from Rare Beauty. Whoa. I love their PR packages so much, like so much. Look at this. Ready? She looks stunning, first of all. Love the eyeliner. And then it just pops open and you've got the brow stuff here, the eyeshadow sticks here, underneath her face, ah! and the eyeliners over there. I love that. These are really great colors too, like very wearable. I'm super excited for this. I'm really excited. I mean, I like find these types of launches like just kind of boring because they're everyday stuff, but they're things that you need. You need an eyebrow gel, you need a mascara, you need a eyeliner. So I think that this is really exciting. I'm glad that they have extended their line. And I mean like, look how good she looks. Are you kidding me? Love it. Elevate your blowout. Olaplex, love that. Let's see what's in here. Whoa, elevate your blowout. Volumizing blow dry mist. Volumizing blow dry mist. A protective volumizer shields from heat and humidity. All hair types. Okay. You guys know I love Olaplex. I freaking love Olaplex. I love everything they do and their stuff works so well on me. Wet hair, dry hair, every style, every hair type create an Olaplex blowout with long lasting body and bounce and shop shiny, shop shiny, healthy looking hair. It has heat protection. It adds lift. Wow. I love that. That's so exciting. You go off Olaplex. I'm, I'm gonna use this like tomorrow for sure. That's awesome. Okay, I have two packages from In Beauty Project, which makes me think they just accidentally sent me two of the same thing, which happens sometimes. Cute, cute, cute. Maybe not. This is um, a green machine package. This is to celebrate their green machine. Um. Love the green machine. It's my favorite vitamin C serum. I've talked about it many, many, many times. Um, In Beauty Project is one of my favorite skincare brands ever, but they also sent over, they have really cute merch and things like that, like their bags and stuff. They sent over a little makeup bag that has a couple sections in it. This is actually the same material as the Persona Cosmetics one, which like, okay, go off, Kawern. And then they also sent a hat that says In Beauty Project on it and a sweatshirt. How cute. I kind of feel like this other box might have the same thing in it. I don't know, let's see. If it is, we'll give, I'll do a giveaway. Oh, these are the pants. Or no, it's another top. I think I got two. If you guys want some of the things from this PR, the things that I'm like not super interested in, but maybe you would be interested in, comment down below and put your Instagram handle in there so I can know where to contact you at and keep your DMs open because I'll DM you and I'll do a giveaway of some of this stuff because obviously I don't need all of this. 
Um, so yeah, I would love to do that and comment down below because I have a couple of products and packages here that are do uh, like they sent a couple times. <gasps> Pat McGrath. Pat McGrath has been just absolutely killing it with the launches recently. The new blushes are so good. Like they might be my favorite blushes of the summer, even over the ones from Mario, which is hard to say because the Mario blushes are incredible. But something about those Pat McGrath cream blushes really did me in. They really did me in. Oh my gosh. This says my name on it. I think it says enjoy and it's signed from Pat herself. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Blurring Under Eye Powder. Why did she send this? The Nude Venus Lip. This is just like a random box of goodies from her. The lip glosses, an eye pencil, a couple lipsticks. What did I do to deserve this? Mascara, what's in here? This is crazy. Oh my gosh, how does she even know who I am? I mean, she probably doesn't, let's be honest. But like, that's amazing. Are these eyeshadow quads? They're blushes, the Divine Rose blushes. So pretty. The woman knows what she's doing. Okay, I'm gonna have to investigate as to why this was sent to me because I'm obviously like absolutely floored and this is Gorginia. Remember how I was just talking about Barbie? Nyx and Barbie. Nyx and Barbie collabed, you guys. Oh my gosh, Barbie collabed with everybody though. And you know what, as she should, as she should. <gasps> I'm like so excited, I'm like a kid. Who doesn't love Barbie? I was indeed a Barbie girl. I was a Bratz girl well as well, but I was a Barbie girl. Like I had so much Barbie. I'm not even sure how to open this, but this is everything that's inside. Oh my God, Barbie! I had an insane amount of Barbies. My mother, my poor mother, she spent so much money on those damn Barbies. <gasps> I'm ripping it, oh God. Barbie, come here. Oh Barbie. Oh my God. Look, we've have, oh my gosh, Barbie ombre lashes with like little pink lashes inside. Barbie butter gloss. Is this a Barbie butter gloss? It's a mini color palette and a mini butter gloss. Oh my God, I've never seen a, <gasps> oh my God, you guys. Oh my God, oh my God, it's so cute. I need to find a little girl to give this to or a little boy, stat. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. I must open all of this. This is like two jumbo eye pencils in like the Barbie and Ken colors. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's a freaking mirror, but it's a freaking flip phone. Hello? <laughs> it says hi Barbie on it. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna cherish this forever. It's like sad because a lot of Girls, I don't know if a lot of people play with Barbie anymore, but they should. Barbie's the best. And this is another mini one with another butter gloss. Wow, that is amazing. Hats off, hats off. Oh, there's one more. This is a Barbie, oh, it's it broke. It broke, but I think it's two blushes and a highlighter. Look how cute and thin they are. Ugh, oh, they really killed it with that one. They really, oh, I found three, three more glosses. Oh my God, these are hot pink butter glosses. <gasps> wow. Okay, sorry, I spent a lot of time on that one, but I felt like I had to. It was very interesting and important to me. <sighs> sorry if you're not a Barbie person, but that was amazing. Wet Wild with some Disney something. Oh my goodness. I mean, Wet n Wild, who have they not collaborated with at this point? Wet n Wild and Alice in Wonderland. Oh my gosh, this is too much. I'm not even gonna take it out, I mean, this is just way too much. There's a huge ass eyeshadow palette, liquid eyeliner, a limited edition lip gloss. That looks kind of pretty. Oh my God, there's a whole second layer. There is a whole second layer, you guys. These blush palettes actually look very pretty. I'm kind of curious about this one. That looks pretty. And there's also a bronzer palette. Am I getting sucked in as I talk to you? And then in the second level, there is a lip and cheek color. Oh, and then um, a mirror, a lipstick, a lip gloss, and the brushes. Honestly, the brushes from Wet n Wild are really good. I'm not gonna knock it all the way because I still, you know, I just don't like the collab stuff. But then again, my favorite lip gloss is from the fucking Elmo collection from Wet n Wild. So who am I to judge? Really, who am I to judge? I feel like an idiot carrying it around, but I do it, I do it. I believe this is this one is from TIGI, which is a hair care company, and I don't know how they got my address. Oh, never mind. This is for a collab I'm doing, and I can't tell you what it is yet because we're still working out the contract, but I'm just gonna 
do that. Yeah, iconic. Iconic moment for me, truly. All right, we've only got like three left, I swear. And I'm still waiting for one that I really want, which I might just have to buy. Wow, it's more Fenty. This is Fenty's, I don't know, it's just like a collection, a little piece of their stuff. Hey Fenty fam, we know you love the foundation. We're, we're hooking you up with your summer complexion must-haves. Cool, they have just a couple things from all of their sort of Hydro Visor, Pro Filter, Ease Drops, Mascara, Gloss Bomb. That's super nice. I already have a lot of this stuff, so, you know, like I said, put your name down below because if I already have it, I will definitely give away anything extra. Obviously, I will not swatch them. They will be unopened. Another one that concerns me about doubles is I have two packages from Crown Affair, and you guys know Crown Affair is my favorite hair care brand, and they are coming out with a scalp serum. Um, so I wonder if that's what's in here. That would be awesome if, if true. Ooh, this is a mini set. I love their mini sets. This is basically what I took to France, actually. This is a mini of their um, leave-in conditioner, their hair oil, and their renewal mask, as well as a duo of their air dry clips. These clips are so, so, so good and very cute. They are like a tortoise shell, but this set is amazing, especially if you wanted to give someone a gift because Crown Affair does not... It's quite expensive. So if you wanted to just try it, that's also a good way to try it because they also have minis of their main line as well, like their shampoo and conditioner. So this must be the hair scalp serum. <gasps> yes! It is the Calming Scalp Serum. Okay, this is Restore from the Root Meet the Calming Scalp Serum. This is literally brand new. A lightweight nourishing scalp serum for everyday hydration or instant relief from an itchy, dry, irritated scalp. And it's a spray. I really need this because uh, when I get my hair dyed, which I dye my entire head, including like all the way up through my root, my scalp gets so itchy and irritated from having the hair dye up there. Oh my gosh, look what else they put in here. They included a everyday journal and a pen and like a really five minute journal, the five minute journal, in a really nice color with a nice little crown affair pen. That is so nice. I've never used these before, but I'm interested. I Do you think I should use them? If you use one, let me know down below. But I'm really excited for that. I think they also sent a brush, which is amazing because their brushes are expensive. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Look. So cute, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to try that, so let me know if you wanna know more about that. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. We got two more, Josie Marin and Nude Sticks. Josie Marin, what you got, girl? Everything fell out. This is a new, I can't read this. It's so nice if she actually wrote this. I can't read a damn thing it says. I think it's this. Josie Marin Triple Hydroxy Resurfacing Liquid. I think that's what this is. Acids Me Argan, the perfect balance of power, introducing triple hydroxy resurfacing liquid. Three step ritual. So it's the cleansing oil, the serum, and then their whipped argan face butter, which I don't use because I find that it's a little thick. And then a thing of reusable cotton pads. So that is interesting. I might put these in the giveaway just because my skincare routine is pretty down pat right now and I don't feel the need to mix it up too much and I don't want that stuff to go bad. So, all right, last one guys. What is new from Nude Stick these days? Nude Skin, ah, this is their skincare. Whoa, Sunshine Oil Body Elixir. Hmm, a lot of body stuff this year, I guess. Cute packaging though. Whoa, this looks crazy. Look at that. I actually, when I was in France, I grabbed the Nooks, the Nooks body oil and it, the one with all the shimmer. So I feel like I've got my body oil down pat, but I'm curious. I'm not going to do this right now because that'd be crazy and I would get glitter everywhere. But it says that it's formulated with skin loving, natural Himalayan oils, botanical with sun kiss tan complex, golden micro shimmer. Oh my gosh. Three in one, body moisturizing oil and sunless tan. Sunless tan and golden glow. How did they get a sunless tan in here? Is it a sunless tan because it's like the color? Interesting. Well, we'll have to try that. I'm very curious about that. Again, like don't love stuff on my body, so we shall see. Okay, now that I am stuck in a uh, design of my own making, this is literally just, I'm covered in boxes everywhere. I'm gonna go put these uh, in the recycling 
go through some of this stuff um set some stuff aside for a giveaway so make sure again you comment down below i'm sorry us um us addresses only because right now it's just really expensive to send things abroad i'm really 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 sorry but i'm gonna try and figure that out so if you're in the us um and you want to possibly win some of this stuff put your instagram handle down in the comments below um and leave a comment so anyway sorry this video was super long but i love you guys i hope um this was interesting in some way and if you want a review on any of these things also let me know down in the comments below love you so much and i'll see you in the next one really soon bye